Speaking of RPGs, this is a, this is a story called In Which We Play Cal and D. Um, a few Saturdays ago, I drove over to my friend Cal's house to play D&D. Our friend Steve had come down from San Francisco. He was already there. And our friend Martin was driving out from Pasadena to meet us. Martin lives five minutes from my house. And now we don't carpool. I will never understand. But we just don't do it. Because we live in Los Angeles. We all have to take our own cars. Ha <laughs> ha! you heard. <laughs> well, we waited for Martin to show up. We caught up on our lives. We told stupid and not so stupid jokes. And we got ready for Hey, I said, um, I brought you a fourth edition DM stream to Cal. Um, uh, in case you don't have it. Because it's, it's really one of the most useful DM streams. I've ever had. We're not playing 40, Cal said. Are we playing third edition? I said, imagining a five hour encounter where I did a little more than try to break a gravel. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even going to have character sheets. Later on, we'll describe this particular system as Cal and D. <laughs> I was intrigued. I implored to continue. I've adapted a Tomb of Horror style adventure from Dungeon Magazine. Whoa. Dungeon Magazine? Oh, yes, Dungeon Magazine. You mean like an actual magazine? Like printed on paper? And he says, Yes, um, I bought it in the mall at B. Dalton Bookstores. <laughs> I decided not to ask him how he actually broke into the museum to steal it. <laughs> and he continued, We are using a battle map, we are using minis, and we're not going to get hung up on a lot of rules. Um, you guys are just going to do your best not to die in the mud sorcerer's tomb. When Mark arrived, we got our characters. I was a fire mage called Osemi the Corpulent. <laughs> it was decided that Osemi wore a moo moo. <laughs> He had those like T-Rex arms, <laughs> and that one of his spells was basically the equivalent of lighting a fart into a mighty gout of flame. <laughs> Martin was a gnome paladin, I can't remember his name, but he was based on the Travelocity gnome. <laughs> Steve was a deep earth stone gnome, who was essentially a first edition Steve is the munchkinest munchkin player I've ever played with in my entire life. And uh, this is how Steve plays, uh, this is how Steve goes. So, like, we establish, you know, our marching order, and then Steve will say, All right, so I've got my 10 foot pole out, and I'm just, I'm poking everything with it. I'm looking for traps everywhere. I'm going down the corner looking for traps, and I'm looking for traps. And they're traps, I'm poking things with my, you know, I climb a wall, and I climb up here, and now I'm looking for traps. And the traps there, I've got my 10 foot pole out, and I'm poking things with my traps. <laughs> So the, the DM, um, this is what we played in high school, the DM would say, okay, so um, uh, everyone is at the end of the corridor, and now you've taken two steps. You have not found any traps yet. What do you want to do? And then Steve would pull out, you know, the rule cyclopedia and explain how he's actually allowed to do that. So it was appropriate that he was playing the first edition. Um, our characters met in a tavern, of course, and we left with a bunch of lackeys who I named Team Cannon Fodder. <laughs> As we journeyed to the tomb with Team Cannon Fodder, we did a little role playing and we figured out who our characters were. Um, I decided that I was kind of like Fat Bastard. <laughs> and he leaned toward neutral evil. Steve said that he had, and I quote, a fuckload of healing potions in his adventurer's kit, as well as two dozen iron spikes and a ten foot pole. <laughs> then he loaded up that song, Like a Rock, on his iPhone. And he used it as his theme music whenever he did it. <laughs> so he'd be like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over there and look behind those, behind those trees. Like a rock! <laughs> I had him being a rock movie. Which apparently exists in, in, the, in cosmology of Calendy. Um, Martin, Martin's character's goal in life, because he was based on the Travelocity Gnome, was to save Traveler's gold pieces. <laughs> this was especially funny because he was a paladin of Garl Glitter Gold, and his battle cry was, Garl that glitters is gold! <laughs> if any of you are under the impression that we took this game seriously, <laughs> I'd like to welcome you to the room. <laughs> 
Martin said to Cal, I want to ride a dire badger. <laughs> Maybe use it as an escape hatch. 
and ask yourself, how often have you said, wow, that's a great system, versus, I really had fun playing. 